Let's start over. Oh, my hands are going to hurt after a while. <laughs> Want to hit those lights for us? Somebody, so I don't need these 10 seconds right now? No, I don't. That's fine. All right, so um, in order to do your frequency table in Microsoft Word, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a table. So I go up to the Insert uh, drop-down menu. I choose Table. And I know I need five columns for an APA format table. And I need to figure out how many rows I need. I'm going to just make a five-by-four table right now. I'm going to put in my headings. Uh, so score and then... F for frequency, and then RF for relative frequency, CF for cumulative frequency, and percentile for uh, percentile. These are supposed to be lowercase, so if your computer insists on doing the thinking for you, you don't have to go back and fix them. Lowercase. And then you'll type in your scores. Five, whoops, five, four, three, whatever they are, right? Four, three. There we go. Our frequencies, we have five fives, we have eight fours, we have two threes. Do our relative frequencies, which you can get right off of um, SPSS, but you have to convert them into decimals, so whatever they happen to be. I'm just making up numbers here. Oh, let's say cumulative frequencies, whatever they happen to be. No use for real numbers, obviously. Percentiles, that's decimals. Okay. Center everything by going up to the center. Text choice up here makes everything look nice. Uh, and then I'm going to go through and I need to get rid of all of the um, vertical lines, especially APA format, no vertical lines. So I go up to the borders drop down menu and I strip all the borders out by choosing no border. You see, all the borders are gone. And I'm going to add back in bottom border, and then a top border, and then I need to put a bottom border in there. And there you have a snappy, well-dressed frequency table. 